There was no magic to starting uh, Transgender Tuesdays. Um, there was a group of uh, physicians and uh, nurses, nurse practitioners, social workers, and community advocates who noticed, gee, we've got a lot of transgender people coming to our health center and a lot of transgender people who we're seeing in our homeless shelters where we do our clinics. And they're coming in and they're sick. Let's talk to people, what's the problem? And we heard the same story over and over again about previous bad experiences and discrimination in healthcare uh, facilities, hospitals and clinics, about not uh, being able to, to be treated um, with basic dignity and basic understanding, um, of being victimized in the community by unscrupulous medical providers. Um, who we talked to uh, our patients, we talked to our, our advocates in the community, and we heard the same thing. We need to create a safe place where a transgender person can come to, not be asked to prove anything about themselves beyond that they self-identify as a transgender person, and to be able to provide a comprehensive kind of medical care that would include prescription of hormones, but would also include all of the preventative care needs and all of the medical care needs that that person might have. Um, and then we did the not magic part, which was saying, gee, we know what we need to do, we know how to do this, there's no additional funding, but there is, we're already seeing these patients, and if we reorganize ourselves, maybe we can actually provide something that will work. What we didn't consider um, and have learned over the past 10 years was the need in our community in San Francisco was tremendous for this kind of health care. Not only did we see our usual population of homeless people and very marginalized, disenfranchised people, but we saw people from all over the city who came with no advertising, with no, just word of mouth, say, there is no other health care for us. Can you please take care of, of me here? Um, just an anecdote, uh, I'll be the first to say that when we planned this, we said, well, I'm going to skip over the, the, the um, part in the articles that talk about female to male transgender people, because we don't see any of those, and they're not out there. Well, from day one, we discovered, oh, there's this incredibly hidden population of uh, FTM uh, people in our community, and they've been even more marginalized and even more discriminated against and not being seen, and we better learn. I do know uh, from our own experience that this can be done in quite resource-poor uh, centers with just um, support for doing it, a political will for doing it, collaboration between medical providers and administration and community advocates and activists. I, I'm qu quite sure that it's going to become more and more difficult, even if we have the goodwill to do it, because we're getting to be in a situation where there's bureaucratic barriers um, that are being imposed that say, we really can only provide care to San Francisco residents. And I really don't want, uh, uh, I want people to have an opportunity to get the medical care that they need. And uh, it can be done. So thank you.